Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer photos or videos to your USB drive. So, uh, photos and videos you can transfer to your USB drive on the Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra. Now, before we can transfer uh, the data over, make sure that you get this OTG adapter in a USB drive. Make sure that the USB drive that you have is large enough to hold all the photos and videos so go in your gallery and see how much photos or how much videos that you have and uh, get a suitable uh, capacity of USB drive to store all your photos and videos okay once you have a large enough USB drive we now connect the OTG to your uh, mobile device charging port like this once you have done that, we need to uh, format the USB drive. So if you have any valuable data on your USB drive, make sure you back it up first. Copy it over to your computer or to your other USB drive. But in this process, we're going to erase everything on your USB drive. Okay, let's begin. So we're going to swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Then we're going to go down and tap on device care. Next, we're going to tap on storage. Then we're going to tap on advanced. And in advanced, we're going to tap on the SanDisk USB drive. Then tap on format. And then tap on format USB drive. So this will erase everything. Okay, now that USB drive setup is complete and ready to use, we're going to tap on the done button. Now we're going to tap on the back key at the top and then tap back again then tap on back again then tap on back again until we are back at the settings page In settings, we're going to go down and tap on accounts and backup Okay, then tap on backup and restore Next, there are a lot of backup options in here but we want to backup or transfer data to an external storage. So we're going to choose external storage transfer. Now in here, it may pop up and ask, do you want to choose a storage location? If it does not show up, that's okay. You can choose this one right here. You can see at the top, there is like an SD card. So if you tap on that, then you choose USB storage. And then we're going to tap on backup. And sometimes it may select everything in the backup like this. So when everything is selected, it can be quite a lot of uh, space uh, usage. So I'm going to deselect everything. And we just want to backup only images and videos. Now you can see before my USB drive only has 8 gigabytes of memory. In here I've got images and videos. Videos is 16. 0.08 gigabyte. So what we can do is we can tap on the right arrow in here and then I'm going to deselect everything. So make sure you deselect everything by simply tapping on the all button at the top here to select everything or deselect everything. So now that I have deselect everything, I'm going to choose just the videos that I want to back up. So you don't have to back up all the videos. You can choose which videos that you want to back up. So I want to choose this video here and then I'll tap on done and then you can see in videos I only now select 26 megabytes and then again in images you can tap on the right arrow and then in here you can choose which images you want to um, uh, to back up by default it selects everything now you can see there are a lot of duplicate in here so I can deselect some of them I don't need to um, back up a lot of the same or similar images and that can save some space so you can do like me go in here and select the photos or deselect the photos that you don't want to back up once you are happy with your selection you tap on the done button and now you can see uh, the images size has been reduced down to 385 megabytes okay next we're going to tap on the backup button down here and then tap on keep screen on so that you can see the percentage of the progress while it is backing up 
So that is all you have to do to back up uh, photos and images to your USB drive. Now you can back up everything or you can uh, partially back up some of the photos or videos. Now this process can be quick or long depending on how many photos or videos you have on your Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Ultra or the S20 Plus. You can see mine is pretty fast, it's only one or two minutes. This is because I do not have any um, a lot of videos or a lot of photos on this device. It's only used for demonstration purposes only. That's why it's going to be quick uh, in this video. Okay, finally it is nearly done. Now at 98%. So I'm just going to wait for the last percent so you can see what's going on when it's finishing. And you can see the next screen. So I'll say, um, say 98%. Now 100%. And say copy items, so it will give you a confirmation uh, of what has been copied over. And then tap on done. And that's it. Now you have successfully uh, copied or transfer all your photos and videos over to your USB drive. So you can uh, uh, check it out uh, by uh, opening up apps. So from your home screen, you swipe up, you go into Samsung, you tap on My Files. And in my files, you can go down and tap on USB storage. So tap on USB storage 1. And then we can confirm by going to uh, the backup in here. So I say here, smart switch backup, one item. And then if you go in here, it's got six items. And then you've got like gallery event settings and photos and videos. And then in here, then you've got more stuff in here. If you go down, then you've got more items. And then you've got camera. And then here are all the uh, images or pictures that we have uh, uh, back up. So because it's been um, put in a, in a format that um, at least back up from uh, Samsung, that's why we are not able to, uh, to view the photo directly like this. But when you restore it, so when you restore it back to your phone, you should be able to see the photos. So give it a try and see how you go. So this is the backup, USB storage. Then you've got one item in Android, that's data. That's just really the data of the USB drive. But this um, folder here, the smart switch backup, is what, is what really counts uh, as holding your files in here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. So you can see all the videos in here. Now they added like an extra underscore right next to the MP4 file. That's what's causing not to be able to play. So I wonder if I just change that. So if I tap on edit and details. So I see if I can change the file name. So let me just uh, work out how we can rename the file. Okay, so you have to select the file, then tap on the option key, then tap on rename. And if I just remove the underscore here, tap on done, tap on change, now you can see I can uh, play the file. And that's it. So this file should now be playable. As you can see, there's an icon there that I can play. But this um, could uh, prevent you from restoring uh, properly if you uh, manually go on here and uh, change the name of the file. So I'm going to um, tap on edit and then rename the file. So I'm going to put the underscore back in and then tap on rename, tap on change and that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this video has helped you to uh, transfer and backup files from your Galaxy S20 device to your USB storage. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.